The day started out like any other. Like most teenagers living in this small town, I spent my weekdays in school trying my best to get good grades. And on the weekends, I like to hang out with my friends, either at the mall shopping for new clothes, or sometimes we like to go to the movies. But on this particular Saturday, my life took an unexpected turn. I would planned to meet my friends at the park to play a game of basketball. But as I was walking through the park, I heard a faint cry. I followed the sound and eventually came across a baby, all alone and hidden inside the jungle gym. There were no parents in sight and I had no idea who the baby belonged to or how it ended up in the park. But I knew I couldn't just leave it there. So I scooped the baby up in my arms and made the decision to take it home with me and take care of it until the police station opened back up the following day. I couldn't believe all of this was happening. I mean, I didn't know the first thing about looking after a baby. I tried to gather my thoughts and figure out what to do. Okay, Peach, you can do this. You just have to figure out how to change a diaper and feed it. It can't be that hard, right? I rummaged through the cabinets looking for anything that might be helpful. But as I searched, I realized I didn't have any diapers or formula in the house. I guess I'll just have to go to the store. But how am I going to take the baby with me? I wrapped the baby up in a blanket and carefully placed it in the stroller. As I pushed the baby through the streets, I couldn't help but feel a sense of nervousness. I'd never taken care of a baby before and I had no idea what I was doing. As I walked through the store, I was relieved to find that the baby was actually really well behaved. It cooed and gurgled as I shopped for diapers and formula, seeming to really enjoy the adventure. I paid for my purchases and headed back home, feeling a sense of accomplishment. I can do this. I can take care of a baby. As the day went on, I found myself enjoying taking care of the baby. I sang to it and played games with it, trying to keep it entertained and happy. But as the hours passed, I realized that taking care of a baby was a lot of work and I couldn't do it all alone. That's when I recruited my friend Jake for a bit of extra help. Oh wow, you weren't joking. You really found a baby. Well, this is crazy, but we'll do our best and I'm here for whatever you need. We decided to take the baby out for a day of adventure. We started by going shopping at the mall. As we walked through the store, I couldn't help but notice the stares and whispers of other shoppers. I guess it must have looked strange. Two teenagers wheeling around a little baby. Do you think we should get it a little outfit? Definitely. It's not every day you get to go shopping for a baby. Come on, I know a cool shop. Follow me. We picked out a cute onesie and a pair of tiny sneakers and headed to the checkout. As we paid for our purchases, I couldn't help but feel a sense of pride. I was taking care of this little one and making sure it had everything it needed. I could feel us both starting to become attached to the little one and I was dreading the thought of having to give it up. We decided to have a picnic on the beach. I packed a blanket, some sandwiches and a few toys for the baby and we set off to enjoy our day in the sun. As we sat by the water, the baby played with a small ball and tried to catch the teeny tiny fish in the water. We laughed as we watched its attempts, feeling grateful to have this special time together. I can't believe how much this little one has changed our lives. I know, I never thought I'd be so attached to a baby, but it's not hard to be when they're this cute. Despite the happiness we felt, we knew we had to find the baby's real family. We were determined to do the right thing and give the little one the life it deserved. After the lake, we decided to head to the aquarium. We had always loved going there and we thought the baby would enjoy it too. As we walked through the exhibits, the baby seemed fascinated by the colourful fish and playful sea otters. We were having a great time, but we couldn't help but feel a sense of sadness. We knew that this wasn't our baby and that we would have to give it up eventually. We had been having a great time taking care of the baby, but as the evening approached, we realized it was time for its bath. Neither of us had given a baby a bath before, and we were a little nervous. Do you think we should just use the sink? I don't know. I feel like the tub might be safer. We decided to fill the tub with warm water and gently lower the baby into it. 
At first the baby seemed a little hesitant, but as we gently washed its hair and body, it began to relax and even seemed to enjoy itself. This isn't so bad. Yeah, it's actually kind of fun. After the bath, we wrapped the baby up in a warm towel and cuddled it as it dried off. I couldn't believe how much fun I was having in taking care of this little one. It was a lot of work, but it was also incredibly rewarding. After a long day of taking care of the baby, I was exhausted. I had spent the day running errands, playing at the beach, and trying to keep the little one entertained. But now that it was night, it was time to put the baby to bed. <sighs> I can't believe how tired I am. I feel like I could sleep for a whole week. Me too. I was looking forward to watching that movie we rented, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Despite our best intentions at watching the movie, we found ourselves nodding off as we sat on the couch. The movie continued to play in the background, but we were both fast asleep before it even reached the halfway point. The baby continued to sleep peacefully in its stroller. We'd given it our full attention for the day, and now it was time for us to rest. As the night went on, we continued to sleep soundly, exhausted but content from a day spent caring for the little one that we had grown to love. The day had finally arrived for us to have to take the baby to the police station, and while I was sad to have to say goodbye to the little one, I knew it was the right thing to do for the baby. As we arrived at the police station, we were greeted by the officers. We explained the situation and handed the baby over, hoping they would be able to find its real family. Thank you for taking such good care of the baby. You two have done an amazing thing. I couldn't help but feel a sense of pride as I thought about all I'd accomplished over the past week. We had taken care of a baby and given it a happy and loving home. <laughs> even if it was just for a little while. As we waited in the police station, my brain began to fill with questions. Like would the baby's family be grateful to us for our actions? Would they be able to find a permanent home for the little one? But my questions were soon answered when a lovely young woman walked into the station, tears streaming down her face. The officers introduced her as the baby's mother. Thank you so much for taking care of my baby. I made a huge mistake. I don't know how it happened. I'll never be able to thank you enough for what you've done. As I said goodbye to the baby and its mother, I knew that I would always have a special place in my heart for the little one we had taken care of. I had learned so much from the experience and I was grateful to have been a part of the baby's life, even if it was just for a little while. Ha 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 ha!